Hey players, this is EMC. I am playing in Hearthfire, the new DLC for Skyrim, and uh, it's really fun. It's a lot more fun than I expected it to be, actually. So um, I'm going to do a few videos on uh, Hearthfire and all the new mechanics and uh, all the new stuff you might want to know before uh, uh, you go making all the mistakes I have made while building these new homesteads. So, <laughs> this first video is going to be about the basic building mechanic in Hearthfire and how to build a homestead and a little bit about stewards. First, I want to introduce you to the three new homesteads. So, this is where I am right now, uh, Heljarchen Hall. I'm not sure how to pronounce that, but you get this homestead from Dawnstar, from the Yarrow at Dawnstar. And uh, you get each of the homesteads the same way you would go about getting the houses. So you go into town and do favors and talk to the Yarrow. And at some point, the Yarrow will like you enough that uh, he'll let you buy land in his hold. Um, these are homestead charters. So you're not buying a home, you're buying a homestead charter. And of course you buy those from the Yarrow Steward. So um, I think they're like 5,000 gold to buy a, a charter. So uh, Dawnstar, you get this charter in the pale. And the other one is from the Jarl of Morthal. And this is Winstad Manor. And then the third one you get from Falkreath. There's Falkreath. And that one is Lakeview Manor. That is the bestest house in the whole game, I think. And that is for sure the place where you want to raise a family if that is something that you want to do. Um, I won't be talking about the whole family mechanic in this video. I'll uh, hold that off to another one because there's so much to talk about. So now you can buy a home in all of the holds except for Winterhold um, where no one wants to live not even the people who live there. So with that, I will start talking about how to build a homestead. So when you get your homestead, you'll have a stack of wood of lumber. You'll have a clay deposit or two. You will have a drafting table, a chest, with some stuff in it. Quarried stone, you're gonna need lots of stone, you're gonna need lots and lots of iron and corundum uh, ingots and clay that you get from the clay deposits. So that just kind of starts you off. And then you have a workbench, a book, Beginner's Guide to Homesteading, which is very nice. It really, uh, it, it explains pretty carefully how you use everything. Um, you know, it talks about um, all your, sp you know, spouses and kids and how to buy materials and hiring stewards. And then it has these nice little pictures. So the first thing you can craft is a small house. You have to kind of go in order. Um, so first thing that you can do, you do the small house first and then you can add on a main hall and then you can add on three additions. So there'll be a west addition you can do. You can do either a bedroom on the west wing, you can do bedrooms, a greenhouse, or an enchanter's tower. On the north wing, you can do a storage room, a trophy room, 
or an alchemy laboratory. The west or the east wing, you can do an armory, a kitchen, or a library. Um, and then you have an anvil, so you can make all of your fittings because you're going to need to make nails. And um, let me show you. You go under building materials and you can make hinges, which you need iron, iron fittings. Locks also need corundum ingots, and nails are just iron. And you're gonna need a ton of it. So, first off, you go to the drafting table. Small house layout. And then you come over here and make your little house. So there's the foundation. You need quarried stone and logs. Wall framing, you need logs and nails. For the walls, you need logs, nails, and clay. For the floor, you need quarried stone. Roof framing, you need logs. Roof, you need nails and logs. And the door, you need the iron fittings, the logs, the, a lock, two hinges, and two nails. Okay, so let's look at the little house we just made. Pretty cool, huh? I want to build a hall now. So we'll make doors, a foundation. All right, we'll put in a floor, wall framing. Second little supports. Let's see if that looks cool. See, you can see how the whole thing is coming together. It's kind of cool. Okay, main hall, walls, roof framing, second walls, roof. Ooh. Oh no, I'm on a quarried stone! Well, that is a good reason for me to show you about how to get your quarried stone. Let's see if we can find it. Mm, I think I see it. So every... Mm, that's interesting. There should be um, a pickaxe next to it. But this is what the stone quarry looks like. Every homestead will have a stone quarry so um, and a clay deposit. So you just need to look around for it. It'll be close by. You don't need to look all over Skyrim for one. Um, normally, there is a pickaxe next to it, and that's a dead give giveaway. But, um, so you activate, and you can just basically mine this thing forever. Um, you get about four stones every few seconds so you can just uh, let your tune mine it for a while and get some cord stone out of it later when you have a steward um, if you really don't want to spend the time mining and digging clay you um, can get your steward to buy them for you uh, with your money of course well, now that I have some stone, I'm going to make a cellar. Um, the cellar is one of the best parts of this house, I think. I'm really pleased with the cellar part. <laughs> um, so you can also add an animal pen. A, um, you know, whole armory sort of setup. Armory workbench. A grindstone. A smelter. You can also make a stable, a garden, which is really cool. I like the garden a lot. And then every house, all three of the houses have one unique feature to them. And this 
uh, homestead, its unique feature is that it has a fish hatchery, which is really cool, and I haven't played with it yet, so I'm kind of psyched. Okay, there's my stable. It doesn't have a horse yet. You kind of need um, your steward to buy you a horse. And your steward will also buy you some animals, some chickens, and a cow. And over here is your garden. Now, I really like this garden idea. I think this is one of the best things they came up with. So to activate the soil, and then you get to choose what you want to plant. You can plant ingredient plants or you can plant food uh, plants. And I am going to put a juniper tree right there. And it asks you how many for some reason, but you really just want to put one in there. And then I'll say item planted. Okay. And then that will rise and slowly we will get a juniper tree right there. I think the juniper trees are really pretty. Ah, and there's my house, Carl. Honored to see you again, my fane. I need a steward for my house. Are you interested? I'd be honored. To be your steward. Nice. You've built a fine steading here. Nice. Okay. So what can this guy do? Uh, I would like you to buy some building materials for me. Of course. What are we running short of? Okay. So you need a ton of lumber. So I'll see to it at once. Get that guy to Is buy you some lumber. Else you need? Uh, you can even get to buy stone and clay, even though you can mine those. Certainly. I'll have it delivered to the chest near your workbenches. If you Is have... Is there anything else you need? If you have more money than patience, I have Certainly. way too much money at this point. I'll have it delivered point. to the chest near your workbenches. Is there anything else you need? I don't need anything else. Very good, ma'am. Uh, let's see. I don't really understand this one. Certainly. Let's see. What did you have in mind? Oh, this is one. Uh, he can buy you a carriage, a bard. That sounds annoying. Um, a horse, which I do want. Ah, good. There's one I've had my eye on. I'll see if it's still for sale. Uh, I'd like you to make some improvements. Certainly. What did you have in mind? I would like a chicken. I'll see to it at once. I would like... Certainly. What did you have in mind? Another chicken. I'll see to it at once. Certainly. I what did you like have in mind? A cow. I'll keep an eye out for a good cow to purchase. That'll do. Well, now that we're outside again, you can see I have a lovely horse. Ooh, that one's really pretty. I like it. I like the modeling, the gray and white. And I got a cow, and I got some chickens. And I got a little basket of eggs right there. You can't do anything with the cow. You can't milk it, even though milk is new in the game. A new ingredient you can use and uh, he will mine and do stuff outside because uh, that's what a man does or something I don't know okay here's my beautiful homestead with all three towers constructed so let's look at it from the outside So that is the small house I made first. That is the main hall I made second. And then you can add three different things. This, these are the three towers. One for alchemy, one for the library, and one for enchanting. And 
then they have balconies at the very top. So, each room that you constructed will have this little workbench in it. Um, when you click on the workbench, you can build furniture, weapon racks, shelves, um, you can make uh, mounted heads, and you can add containers. Now, it's a little, you know, is, hmm, I don't know how to say it, but there's a lot of clutter and a lot of, like, awkward things about some of the furnishings. I'm just, for now, I'm just going to leave this open. I'll show you um, my Lakeview Manor that is, you know, more fully furnished.